So uh, ammonia can be made according to this uh, balanced chemical uh, equation. And now we know uh, 75 grams of uh, nitrogen monoxide and 25 grams of uh, hydrogen uh, were used for this reaction. So and now we need to find out uh, which one is the limiting reactant, NO or H2, and how many grams of ammonia were produced. Once we find out which one is the limiting reactant, we use that value to calculate the theoretical yield. So in other words, this is the theoretical yield. Okay. Again, we start what we know. So we'll work on nitrogen monoxide first. So we have a 75 prime nitrogen monoxide converted from primes of nitrogen peroxide to moles of nitrogen peroxide using the molar mass. 13.01 and now we'll convert to the product that is asked which is uh, NH3 so you see grams of NO grams of NO are cancelled now we are converting from grams of from moles of nitrogen monoxide to moles of ammonia using the coefficient in the balance equation. Ammonia monoxide to nitrogen monoxide, I'm sorry. So nitrogen monoxide, that's two. And ammonia, that's another two. All right. So this should give me about 2.5 moles. Ammonia. We'll do the same for hydrogen using hydrogen's value of H2 using the molar mass converting from primes of H2 to moles of H2 and that should be 2.02 something like that. Ah, no, we are not done yet. So next one, you see primes. H2 grams H2 cancelled, we should have moles of H2. Convert from moles of H2 to moles of ammonia. Okay, look at the coefficient from the balance equation. For hydrogen, 5, ammonia, 2, and this gives me. moles of ammonia. Compare these two values, the smaller number is produced by the limiting reactor, which means the limiting reactor is actually monoxide, nitrogen monoxide. So therefore, this is the theoretical yield. If we convert this one to mass, so therefore, the yield, or how many grams of ammonia were produced, that should be based on the limiting reactant value, which is 2.5 moles of ammonia produced by 75 moles uh, uh, grams of uh, nitrogen monoxide we convert from moles of ammonia to grams of ammonia using the molar mass of ammonia. Again, here it should be 17.03, and that should give me about 42.6 grams of ammonia. And if you look at the five choices here on the two, uh, we 
is the A is a correct answer. Nitrogen monoxide is a limiting reactant and 42.6 gram.